isn't being done at one Chattanooga cemetery to keep it clean. And tonight, people are demanding answers. Good evening, and thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 530. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Latricia Thomas. A viewer called us after noticing the downed trees, trash, and beer bottles all over that property. Today, News Channel 9's Jerry Askin went to the cemetery to see for himself and find some answers. All this was gone in here, so we just pulled it up and filled all of this right here up. Michelle Adair buried her son, Charleston Beard, a month ago today. As you can imagine, she's still grieving, and she's not happy about the conditions at the Highland Memorial Garden Cemetery. I just think that, you know, the dead needs to be respected as well as the living, you know, and it doesn't hurt to pick up, you know, bottle, uh, beer bottles or even trash, candy papers and wrappers. She tells me it looks as if he was buried yesterday with just a pile of dirt covering the grave, no grass. That's why today her family did the work themselves, seating the area in front of his headstone. But as a concerned mother, I just felt like I didn't want my son to be sitting here, you know, with his grave falling down in the ground. So I just decided that we'll come up here and fill it up. Today we could see branches broken over tombstones, roads in disrepair, and a number of bottles and beer cans scattered all over the property. Now just yards away from Charleston's grave, you'll see back behind these woods even more trash old Powerade bottles, old flowers, and even old tires. I'm hoping that it'll look better than, than it does because, I mean, there's no reason why it shouldn't. Today we saw crews at the property, but Michelle Adair thinks they're not getting enough done. And we called the property manager, Denise Bradley. She's waiting to comment until she hears from her boss. Until they get answers, Colleen Wright, one of Beard's family members, says they'll continue to do the work themselves. It's not only disrespectful to the deceased, also to the family, you know, the loved ones that come here and visit them. I mean, we got to walk through mud trying to put flowers on graves, and it, it's just awful. It's that was Jerry Askin reporting. We are still waiting for a response from the cemetery's property manager. We'll let you know when they get back.